guys talking to so many different people, meeting people. Uh, yeah, everyone's just been super kind. And I feel like that's been my favorite part is just like the conversations between shows as opposed to, I mean like Maddie was awesome. And so too was uh, drama today. Drama was super good. But I feel like my favorite times are just like chilling and talking to people. Very cool, that's awesome. So do you feel like the Seattle community has kind of come out in that way? For sure, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, I mean, I don't know if this is unique to like Seattle or Washington, but I feel like this festival specifically is just like very good, kind of like more like chill, I feel like, you know, cause I had a friend who went to EDC recently, which is like, you know, huge EDM like festival and everything's like crazy. Yeah. And like, kind of seems like a lot. I feel like here is more like chill. Everyone's really nice, good music, different kinds of music too, which I really like. It's not just like one kind of music. Yeah, my name's Yanni. I'm from the Linwood area, born in Seattle. And as she said, I will be playing at Cafe Racer. I'm a yeah, hip hop rap act. I uh, dabble in a lot of different genres, but mostly yeah, hip hop and rap. This is my first festival. I learned about this a year ago. Yeah. And now we're here. So, I mean, that's manifestation right there. Yeah, we're let's doing go. This shit. So, let's go. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, what's your inspiration behind your music? Big Michael Jackson fan. That's what's up. Lauren Hill, Kendrick Lamar. A little bit of Nirvana and Foo oh, Fighters. Yeah, I'm okay. all over the place. Taking it back to the, like, love, I grunge love, era. Yeah, grunge. Let's grunge is go. a super big influence on me. You don't hear it in my music now, but in the future, there's a lot of new stuff. Ooh. That's a lot. Very experimental. So, awesome. Yeah. Are there any new projects that you're excited about? Kind of yeah, about? there is for sure a project coming out oh, yeah. top of next year. It's a little it's under wraps right now, but... Okay. Yeah, that's mainly where I'm getting a lot of my new experimentation stuff out on. It's awesome. going to be that new one, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be cool. really good. It means a lot to everybody here, and this guy especially. So make some noise for yourself. Writing your music, like your lyricism, um, yeah. where is that coming from? Like a place inside you? How what you feeling when you're writing? I feel it. Yeah. So I'm very big on like authenticity oh, and yeah. like kind of drawing from like just experiences that you've had. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my music is very based on like just being inspired and being in the mode for certain things. So That's awesome. if I feel a certain way about something, I kind of get in like kind of like how athletes get in the flow states. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a Hooper, as my best example, like somebody yeah. playing basketball, they're just hitting every shot. Mm -hmm. When you, like as an artist, a lot of y'all might relate, whoever's watching this. You know when you're in there, you can write forever. And like everything is just drawing from stuff you've done before. Yeah. So I'm big on that and that's kind of how I get inspired. Also, traveling is big for me. Whenever I go to a new city or a new place, I always come back with like new, just ideas, yeah, ideas and stuff. And just like, yeah, just ways shit. that I want to go about life too. So Sick. yeah, that's kind of how I look at my inspo for writing and that's whatnot. awesome hell yeah so you were just featured on a song called skincare 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 skincare, skincare, skincare. skincare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so how do you maintain like the self-care balance and artistry life because it's a lot with the pressure and like you know it's the vibes you got to put there out yeah. there how do you kind of like create that balance for yourself yeah so i mean i can for sure say once you start going down this path of trying to do music, there's a lot of having to balance, making sure you're keeping yourself okay, but also obviously focusing on your career and whatnot. Yeah. And I mean, it really helps to have really good friends and people around you that can kind of keep you grounded and be able to tell you when you're doing something wrong or doing something right. So, you know, shout out to all, and you know who you are, but all my friends that be around me, my circle, y'all are my dogs, y'all are the ones that keep me grounded and help me, you know, keep that self care whenever I'm doing what I'm doing, so. That's yeah. so awesome. That's Thank so you. Awesome. This is so sick. I've never <laughs> done an interview before. This is my first you time. You know, we need the release. So we're out here learning and shit. Oh but, yeah. One last question before yeah. I release you into your little Capitol Hill Black Party moment. <laughs> how are we feeling about the Seattle creative scene, especially when it comes to rap oh, and hip hop? And how how do you think Seattle's doing it differently or like could do it better? What oh do you think gosh. about it? I could literally talk about this for so long. <laughs> That's There's the goal, so that's the goal. Say. I think in terms of how I feel, I think right now is the best it's ever been. Okay. In terms of as somebody who's lived here my whole life, like I've seen, well actually funny enough, 
I kind of I started my whole music career about like a year ago and some change. But before that, I didn't really know about the Seattle scene as much. I knew more about like the North North rap scene and that style, like Bay Area. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Vibe it, truly, truly. I like truly. Chair, chair, no, I know. Let's go. Okay, keep the party moving. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, wasn't super familiar with the Seattle scene, but as of late, after meeting a lot of people, I basically spent about six or seven months just going everywhere and doing everything and meeting as many people as I can. And what I've learned is that there's a lot of talented people here, and it just everybody's kind of just trying to have like their moment. And I think it's kind of it's taken a lot of like courage for a lot of people here to start sharing their music and I realized that because I kind of have like this little community and team that I work with like videographers photographers other artists like Oble yeah. like we're kind of all doing our own thing together and I think the city's starting to notice and I feel like it's almost inspiring a lot of people to kind of be like okay like this new little generation of people making music in Seattle yeah. is like actually good and it's kind of like you're proud to kind of say like oh yeah like Seattle has good music mm -hmm. and I think it's like it's definitely a shift for sure. Yeah, and sure. I'm just I'm just glad that there's other people like I'll have people come up to me and say like, yeah, like Yanni, I hope you know like you've really inspired me to like start getting back into music and like hearing that kind of stuff, it'll never get old to me. Having other people tell me that I help them kind of wanna decide to do something like good with what they're doing. So yeah, that's yeah, I'm all, I definitely went all over the place with that. No, 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 but. I loved it. I loved it. I was following that whole thing. Okay, well, that's pretty much all I had for you. Are you playing so any sick. shows outside of Capitol Hill Block Party that maybe some people can pull up to? Yes. In August, August 18th, I'm going to be at Fremont Friday. And then we have a show like a week or so afterwards on the 26th at the High Dive. Oh, sick. So, yeah, August cool. is a little packed. But I'm okay, hoping, thanks. yeah, I want to see y'all there. I want to see y'all there, too, unless we know when this video comes out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for, for kicking it with us. Of course, I appreciate you. Yeah, I was on camera. Yes! I was on camera. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm going to start <laughs> represents like things ending and um, the pain and sorrow that comes with like endings and I think it's just like a really intense image um, and I have an album coming out in uh, October Super cool. um, yeah thank you yeah. Um, and it's about a really painful period of my life um, and like I felt like the Three of Swords really represented that. That's awesome. Um, and also just because um, I think tarot cards are really cool. I don't know. I just think that they reveal really cool parts about your life. Before I like made my album, I had a tarot card reading. I didn't pull Three of Swords, but I pulled the Tower. I was like with a like tarot card reader, and she told me that like my life was going to fall apart. No. But that like all the stuff that was actually real would like reveal itself and it comes later. together for the better and like everything she predicted happened crazy um, and then i made this album now oh, that's awesome. and she told me that like once everything fall apart fell apart i would like start to actually get what i want and so now I'm hoping I'm at the part where I like. You're like, okay, we're start rebuilding to get, a little start bit. To get what I want. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's um, awesome. I think tarot was really cool, and I thought that image was like powerful and really representative of, of my album. Your necklace, bro. Yeah. 
yeah. what does Rose and Rosie mean to you? Yeah, so, um, Ro- my middle name is Rosa, um, Cute. but I think Rosie's like a nickname for it. Yeah. Um, and I wrote Rosie, um, kind of as like a reverse perspective song. I was trying to view myself from like the people who love me and care about me. I love that. And like, cause I've like, I've got, I've had like a lot of mental health issues yeah. and I feel like, um, I don't know. I was trying to see like myself through the people I love and who love me and like who like, hurt when I hurt, yeah. I guess. When and the empaths, the people who care. Yeah, when I wrote the song. And so, like, Rosie is me. So I, like, kind of wrote it, like, to my past self, who, like, was, like, really emo and was, like, and I'm so alone. Hurting When it's, healing. like, literally you weren't. Yeah. How does it feel to sing compared to when you wrote it? Yeah, um... It feels really good because a lot of people connect to that song and really love that song. Yay. Now it's like I feel farther away from that past self. I mean, it's you know, it still is me, but like you're I, healing yeah, from I'm it, healing. moving I'm on, um, exactly. And like I don't know, like seeing people like really enjoy it, and you know, when I have like friends in the crowd. And, and they're singing the lyrics. I, it just reminds that me, was like, so yeah, sweet. yeah. It just like reminds me how loved I am and how like special the people in my life are. Yeah. And so it's really like a song that reminds me how lucky I am with like all the people in my life who have just been there for me. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your friend coming up on stage and like doing the whole little yeah. pedal situation. That was so cute. That was so, so cute. <laughs> She's going to be helping us with this song. love the band dynamics. How'd you guys meet each other? Yeah, so um, the band is like a mix of um, people I played with in high school and Cute. then also college. So um, my bassist, Maddie, we started playing together junior year of high school so we were like 17 that's That's so Um, sick yeah and um we like she's been in my band ever since um and then Aiden my guitar player um we met um so I went to college out of state I went to college in New Orleans Uh, yeah for music yeah that's a great music scene thank you it was amazing I graduated like two months ago or so hey (laughs) let's go finish that degree I'm educated. Yeah, <laughs> degree in music, so like. Oh, that's awesome! And New Orleans is so sick. No, okay, listen. Yeah. You learned, and I you're learned. Going, obviously you're yeah. on the road to killing it. Thank you. So no, that's what that's that's the plan. Yes, um, you're killing you. the plan. You're, you're making it. Right? I am from Seattle. Yeah. Very cute. It felt amazing, just because I went to Capitol Hill Block Party. Um, when I was a teenager, like, in high school. Cute. And so, like, I wanted to play it. Like, I would, like, when I went to the festival, I'd be having, like, a lot of fun, but then I'd also be like, one day. I want to be here. One day, <laughs> yeah. this will be me. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, um, the fact that, like, I don't know, it happened. It was crazy. And you killed it. Thank you. You killed it. It, like, went so amazing it went so well for, everybody yeah. was so into yeah, it yeah and, and like, like there was a like good crowd there yeah. too i like it i was a little nervous just because it was in barboza and that's like i don't know downstairs smaller, yeah you're hidden and i was away. like yeah it was like a little hidden away so i was nervous that like people wouldn't be able to find it but a lot of people came Yay. and that like was really special a truly a hidden gem do you oh, have yeah. any projects or anything that you're super yes. excited about that um, you might want to promote to the people yes um so i just had a single come out last week yes. um what's it called it's called marigold Mary- oh i love that thank you so um awesome. and that's out everywhere i have uh, more singles on the way okay. in August and September. Cute. And okay. then an album in October. They said we're on a timeline. Yeah, we we're have like a, killing it. 
it's <laughs> stacked up. up. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so the singles are leading up to the album. Yeah. What's the intent with the album? Like, are we? Yeah. We're just flowing, feeling. Is there any sort yeah. of like general it's, theme? It's um, it's an intense album. Yeah. The Three of Swords like embodies. That's awesome. The album. Um, it's about um, getting your heart bro- heartbroken and like trying to hold on to something that's real and like find something that's real in your life when everything like falls apart and you feel like everything's a lie basically it's about trying to like find something and hold on to something real and like in the process take back your own agency and like write your own story your power yeah. yeah that's so cool yeah you can definitely feel that through the music you're doing Thank an amazing you. job portraying those feelings Thank you so, so much. Of course, of course. You. you really did a great job tonight. Thank you so much for being a part of oh our little gosh. situation. Of course. Oh my god, I was I was honored that you guys asked yes, me. It was yeah. really cool. I I very heavily fuck with your vibe. Thank so, you so much. You really did a great job oh tonight, and I'm so excited to see what's in store for you. Thank also, you. the fit. Oh my gosh. Goes thank so you. hard. The tool thank dress. You so I was like, much. you were on stage. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Fashion! Fashion! The fashion! <laughs> Say that! So, That's awesome. Yes, thank, thank you so much for oh God, hanging with us course. tonight. I'm seriously so excited. Do you have any shows that are coming yes, up? Yes, I that, do. Like, maybe people can come yeah. see Yeah, so I do have a Bellingham show. Cute! Which is um, in August, August 5th um, at the Blue Room. Oh, cool! Yeah. Very cool and venue. And then um, I have... A Barboza show in September. Do you like back into the little yes, like back, hey. back into it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna Super be cool. like gigging a ton. I'm also gonna play, I think, a Sunset Tavern show at the Sick. end of August. Cool. I got it. Now that this is like over, chaos is done. The chaos is done. Work into the grind. Yeah, I can like <laughs> go back to like my planning. 